Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to prove this theorem that if we have two random variables which have chi-squared distribution, then their sum also has a chi-squared distribution but with degrees of freedom equal to the sum of their degrees of freedom. So in here we have p plus q equal to the degrees of freedom in here which is p plus the degrees of freedom in here which is q. So now let us designate the sum of these two random variables by w. Then what we need to do in here is to prove that this w has this distribution. To do that, we need to use the theorem that if we have random variables which have the same moment generating functions then, then they have the same distribution. Then what we need to do in here is to prove that this w has a moment generating function equal to the moment generating function for random variables which have this distribution. So now let us determine the moment generating function for w. We know the formula it is equal to the expectation of e raised to wt and then from here substituting this for w we have expectation of e raised to y with p plus y with q then times t and then from algebra we know that e raised to a plus b is equal to e raised to a times e raised to b and then distributing this t for each term in here and then using this we have expectation of e raised to y with p times t then e raised to y with q times t and we know that if we have two random variables let's say u and v and if they are independent to each other then the expectation of their product is equal to the product of their expectations. Now in here this y with p and y with q are independent to each other then their functions which are this e raised to y with p t and this e raised to y with q t should also be independent to each other. Then treating these two terms as random variables and then using this then we can distribute this expectation for each term in here similar to what was done in here. So we have here expectation of e raised to y with p t times expectation of e raised to y with q t and then for this term in here it is a formula for a moment generating function similar to this one so this is a formula for a moment generating function for y with p and then similarly for this one it is also a formula for a moment generating function but for y with q so we have here moment generating function for y with q then let us have an arbitrary random variable in here y which has a chi squared distribution with arbitrary degrees of freedom n so we have here superscript n and from several references the moment generating function for a chi squared random variable with n degrees of freedom is equal to 1 over 1 minus 2t raised to n over 2 where this n is the degrees of freedom which is equal to n in here 
Now, if you want a proof for this one, or rather a derivation of the MAMA generating function for a chi-squared distribution, I have a video for that and I provided the link in the description below so that you can check it out. So now, let us use this for evaluation of this and this. So we have here equal to, for this one, it is 1 over 1 minus 2t this 2 is degrees of freedom in here so we have here p and then over 2 and then for this one we have times 1 over 1 minus 2t this 2 is degrees of freedom which is q then over 2 then combining these terms in here we have 1 over 1 minus 2t raised to p over 2 plus q over 2 is p plus q over 2. And then comparing this to this, this n is arbitrary. And this expression in here is the mama generating function for this random variable in here. Then it is equal to the mama generating function for, for a random variable which has a chi-squared distribution but with p plus q degrees of freedom. Then we can say that the mama generating function for w is equal to the mama generating function for this random variable in here. Then since they are the same, then this w has the same distribution with this random variable in here, which has this distribution. Then this w has a distribution, same with this one, which is a chi squared distribution with p plus q degrees of freedom. So we have here p plus q. Then from here, we have proven that this w, which is this, has this distribution, which is chi squared distribution with p plus q degrees of freedom. So now this proves this theorem and ends this video. So I hope you learned a lot from this video and to the next video as well. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe in my channel.